here at TV, and I have here with me Professor Howard Katz from Johns Hopkins University. So thanks for being here Thank today. You very much. It's my pleasure. <laughs> So I'm um, starting to talk about the conference. Could you share with us your personal highlights so far from the conference? Well, the, the highlights of the conference for me are mostly in the biosensor and biomaterials areas. Um, I was interested to hear a talk, for example, that related uh, proton conductivity and thermal conductivity in proteins, which is really three very different kinds of science all combined together. So that was very interesting. I'm looking forward to the um, new advances that uh, will be discussed in uh, the sensitivity of biosensors and also some of the new science about how the biosensors work, uh, mostly in Symposium K which is the main symposium I'm participating in here. Mm -hmm. And why did you decide to come to EMS? So what is your main motivation or what are your expectations to the conference? Okay, well, the, the um, attendance was motivated by a very kind invitation from Wolfgang Knoll, who is the uh, one of the organizers of Symposium K. But um, my own research work is expanding more and more into um, chemical detection with organic electronic devices. And so this particular symposium is becoming more central to my research work. And I'd like to learn as much as I can about the broad areas. Okay. So we were at, um, so you mentioned that you're interested in biosensors, but um, AMS has a very interdisciplinary approach. So how important is that to your field of research or to your personal research? So in my personal research, um, we cover everything from organic synthesis to physical properties of electronic materials, organic and inorganic. So my own group is very interdisciplinary. So this kind of meeting um, helps promote the interdisciplinarity. My own research, I'm always interested to meet uh, other scientists who are working in the different areas that uh, my research touches. So in that respect, this is the right kind of meeting for me. Can you tell us a bit more about your research, what you're currently working on or what are trends and developments in your area? Okay, so my research is at the intersection of organic and polymer synthesis and electronic device design uh, for various applications. So um, that includes uh, the actual chemical reactions that make the materials, also deposition and patterning of materials and different electronic properties. So conductivity, transconductivity, um, capacitance, impedance, things like that. So we study all of, all of those things, which as I mentioned is very interdisciplinary. Can you give probably an example of how this is applied, maybe in a device or for someone okay. who's maybe not a scientist also, how okay. can you imagine your All research? All right, so to, to bring it more to the general public, um, the main device that is at the heart of my research is something called a transistor, which is a way of switching whether cur electrical current is going through the device or not going through the device. At one level, this kind of device um, controls computing uh, and logic. So if, if you're calculating something or solving some problem on a computer, it's really just a series of these switches turning on and turning off in some logical way. In my group, we're trying to use these devices to detect inputs from other uh, sources besides just the electrical circuit. So if, uh, for example, if a gas molecule lands on the device, it would change. Or if a biomolecule uh, is attached to the device, its properties would change, and we would detect that. And in someone's everyday life, that might mean an easier medical test or easier uh, environmental monitoring um, of, of, their, uh, of their home environment or even of the uh, general environment outside. Mm -hmm. So what we at Fraunhofer IWKS are working on is also resource strategies and recycling, so we also look into more sustainable materials. So do you see any interconnection to your field of research? Are you also looking into like environmental impacts or is there something So the environmental impact of in my own research group right now is not a major thrust, but my background is uh, organic synthesis and physical organic chemistry, which is about the, it includes the energies of bonding and interactions among molecules. So I can appreciate the need to design molecules where that are connected to make materials, but then can also be taken apart later to refabricate into new materials. So in that respect, I am thinking about recycling aspects as well, although my own research group is not heavily exploring that area. 
Thank you very much. Oh, That's my it. My pleasure. Thank you very Thank much you. for having me. Yeah.